Hey Kendall, so this is the brush stroke day, and I've got your pre and your post up here. You can really see a big difference with your core, how you're using your body in the stroke. Uh, love it, love it, love it. So let's put it, um, start from the beginning here. So first of all, just the line, to bam I mean, this is a great line right here. Everything's lined up. Actually, I should extend it to include, um, good golly. Here, I guess it's not gonna let me do that. I'm gonna delete this. And your line literally goes from your fingertips all the way through your hips. So that is great. Whereas, as you can see here, not so good. Okay, so awesome job there. Um, and then we also, the big thing we worked on today was just using your core. So being able to load your hips and unload your hips. And you did a great job with that. So trying to keep your head down on the out sweep, which you're doing a pretty good job of. And then loading that chest. Oh, hold on a second here. I didn't even have you in your line. Look how, that line was when your arms were like at the Y position. Holy smokes, so that's even better. You kept your line for a long time because here you are at your out sweep. So now you've got a little bit of a chest press going on, whereas on this pre one, you can see your hands, your chest is a little bit higher than, than your hips. It, you know, on the post, they're at least, at least level. And then we're gonna drive with our core where in your um, pre-video, it's all upper body. You don't use your core very much. And then here's a big difference too. As you can see on the pre, your chest just kind of sinks down. It kind of starts and stops at the same spot, all right, right here. Watch this. So you go through a cycle and it lands almost, well, lands a little bit behind. And then in your, um, in the uh, post one, you can see that chest slide forward. Really driving off your kick. You're shooting your shoulders, your elbows, your hands forward. Awesome, awesome clip. So um, wanted you to see right off the bat the improvements you made there. This is the pre and post from forward. And um, here we can see you kept the width of your pole, which is awesome. We're just driving those hips forward a little bit more, really landing with the chest. You're driving your chest down. You're trying to drive your head in line with your spine. You can see, though, that your head's still a touch high here. I think we could kind of hide it a little bit more. But nothing changed with the pulling the arm cycle, which I really like, because you have a great out sweep, sliding the hands in and forward in one motion. Really nice. Um, Okay, so then the first thing we talked about was getting a line. So here's an image of a really good line. You can see everything just lined up. Uh, fingertips, head, shoulders, hips. Awesome. And then you can see I'll stick that pole in when your hips, when you start to lose your core, and boom, you come right back up. You're just engaging with these core muscles right here, which is awesome. Really good. Um, and then we went into this three skulls drill. So you're sweeping out. You're sweeping out, you're going to load, unload the hips. Okay, that was the whole purpose of this drill, is working on that load and the unload. And you can see at the corners, you, here we go, you can see at the corner on that third one, you're going to load and then slide the hips forward. Okay, so I want you to do a lot of that, practicing that, just feeling it, finding it, and you can see even in this clip, you're kind of playing with it a little bit. Um, and it's okay to let the head rise with the shoulders. You don't have to try and keep your head down because that just feels a little awkward. Um, and then what do I have here? Okay, breaststroke with a flutter kick. This is your new best friend. Not breaststroke with a dolphin kick, breaststroke with a flutter. This is just a side and a forward view. So if we look at the side view first, we can see how, again, loading up. And even though you're not doing a dolphin kick, you can see a little bit of undulation through the hips. And as you shoot those hands forward, it's really because those shoulders are pushing them forward. There's an acceleration as you land that stroke, which is awesome. 
And I feel like in this forward clip, you're doing maybe a touch of a better job of keeping your head down. You can also see um, a little bit of inconsistency on when you leave your head, um, your goggles down and when you look up. So I'm looking at the forward view there, we see your face as you out sweep here, you keep your head down a little bit more. So just want to really want to try and work on keeping those goggles down through the out sweep, waiting for your head to rise on your shoulders as you in sweep. Um, and then I put this fun little clip together. This is you and Tinnin swimming side by side. Let's see. And I think, you know, the big difference here is her, obviously her stroke rate up a little bit higher. Right, so she's not spending as much time, as much length up front. But the big thing, which is what we're going to work on next week, is that heel speed. So your heels come up much slower. As Tinnin unloads her hips, the heels start to drive, and then she emphasizes bringing them up quickly, and then takes her time, a little more patience as she fires the kick as she finishes. Um, but I think in terms of body position, you guys look very similar. Very similar. Love it. Great improvement, Kendall. It was really fun um, working with you today. Had a good time. Let me know how it goes in training.